Hi everyone, it's Louise from Lulu Purple. Today I'm going to be showing you how I make a shadow box from card. First of all, I am going to make some flowers and I'm using the Spellbinders Spiral Blossom Die S4357. Starting from the end of the spiral with the pattern facing you, you need to curl the first petal with a piercing tool. I'm just trying to get the angle right so you can see what I've done. Once you've done that, you then just start rolling the paper until you get to the end. Once you get into the middle, you then need to pinch the paper over. I'm still trying to get used to my camera angles, so bear with me for a second. So there you go, just pinch the paper over and then you can let go of the flower. You then need to apply some glue to the base of the flower. I'm using my Cosmic Shimmer Acrylic Glue. Make sure your outside edge of the flower is actually on the flower base. Then use your tweezers just to tease out the middle of the flower Then just hold it in position for a few moments until the glue takes hold. So once you have done this, you then just need to leave them to dry before you start shaping them. To make the shadow box, I am using a 12 by 12 piece of paper and my Crafter's Companion scoreboard. So place the pattern side of your paper downwards and then you need to score at one inch, one and a half inches, two and a half inches and three inches. You then need to repeat this on the other three sides of your paper. You will then need to score at the four inch point, but only go down to the second score line. As you can see here. Mm -hmm. 
Then repeat on the other side, so one inch in from the last score line down to the second score line. You then need to repeat this again on the opposite side that you've just done it on. You then need to fold and crease every single score line. Where all your score lines cross over, there will be a square shape in the corner. I'm just trying to pencil it in so you can see it a bit better. We need to cut these squares out on every corner. Going back to those small score lines that we did earlier, we need to draw a line from the bottom of that small score line to the corner of the third score line going down the paper, as you can see here. You then need to cut that section out. And repeat it again on the opposite side. You can then fold in the long sides and then the short sides just to make sure that it all fits. I am now using my walnut stain distress ink and a rubber stamp to decorate the outside of my box. So when I'm doing this, I'm not too worried about the last flap on the outside edge as this is going to be stuck underneath the box.
I'm using my vintage photo distress ink to distress the edges of my box. Again, you don't need to worry about that last flap and then I'm just turning it round and distressing from the other direction. Once all four sides have been distressed, you can then choose a different pattern paper to put in the middle of your box. So I'm just measuring it up and then cutting it to size. I am now using my double sided tape so that I can stick my pattern paper to the inside of my box. So now we have to stick the box together. So on the long edges of the outside flap, I am putting double-sided tape and some acrylic glue. When you fold this piece over just make sure that the edges are butted up to the inside and it's straight and that you can fold it down in both directions. Repeat this on the other long side I then add tape and glue to the outside flap of the smaller sides. So this part can be a bit more tricky but the idea is to try and butt the edges up again to the outside edge and make sure you can fold it down in both directions. Then just quickly check that it fits snugly before you do the other edge.
then need to add some glue to the mitered part of the box. I was trying to get it in the camera shot but it's really difficult to do. So here you can just see where I put the glue on the edges of each corner. Do all of them before you push it all together. When you have all four corners glued, you can then push it together and just hold it in position, rub down on those corners and just make sure the glue takes before you leave it or you can put a weight on it like I'm doing here. You can then decorate the box however you want to. For this one I am just using a quote that I found and I'm just going to distress the edges of my quote. I wanted to stamp an image of a dragonfly in the corner of my box card so I'm placing the dragonfly where I want it and then I'm using my acrylic block to pick it up so that when I go to stamp it I know exactly where it's going to be. I'm using my archival ink pad and I'm just going to stamp it in two corners of my box. I'm using my Cosmic Shimmer acrylic glue again to stick my quote to the box. I am now using my food ball pen to go around the outside edges of my quote and then I decide to do a bit of doodling as well.
back to the flowers that have now dried completely, I'm just using the end of a thin paintbrush to gently curl the edges of the flower. When you get closer to the middle it begins to be a bit difficult to curl the edges so you can just use your fingers or your thumbs and just gently push those petals down so they separate out and then you can see you end up with a pretty flower. I am now using my acrylic glue again to put on the bottom of all my flowers before I stick them down. Doing this, once you've got the glue on, you can then just position them where you want them and squidge them together all at the same time, which makes it easier for placement. That is this one finished. If you carry on watching there are some more photos of different designs that I've done for my shadow boxes. I hope you have enjoyed watching this video. If you have please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Links to my website, Facebook and more will be in the description below. Thanks again for watching and I hope you got inspired. Thank you.